Veritol Trial 6. You will be played a series of numbers from 1 to 1,000. The numbers will be read out in no particular order. Please relax and take a seat. After the trial is finished, a doctor will ask you whether you had a strong or notable reaction to any particular number. This trial will take between 5 and 15 minutes to complete. Number set 5. 676 362 278 13 927 450 20 634 323 71 220 126 879 632 970 864 691 111 458 796 97 12 572 247 978 36 373 368 472 881 152 378 437 393 602 125 236 949 328 116 709 426 200 639 300 381 156 717 337 772 4202 7492 8486 I thought... I thought that I'd bring you here. We used to read here every evening, me and him. I swear, I swear it all changed. When we were here, you know, we were happy. He didn't have a lot of money, but I had my job. It meant that for our anniversary or for my birthday, he'd make something, you know? He wrote, he was <laughs> a poet, he was okay. In one of his cards, maybe it was my birthday, he, he, he wrote something nice. In truth, I didn't care for a lot of what he wrote, but this, this, this stuck with me. It was one line mainly, I, I think it went, given your heart and mine, who could tell the difference? It made me smile.
I, I don't know, it, it all started to change. I, I thought maybe if I brought you here, you'd understand. No one who I talk to understands. One night, I, I remember I still felt it between us when it was still fresh. He came home and he was so drunk. He was out with his friends from university. They all liked to drink and I didn't like the whole going out thing. We were different like that. I remember he came in crying, but in a way where he was... He was jerking up and down, breathing in this way I'd never even seen before. What do you do when the person you love is destroyed? I didn't know what to do with him. I hadn't seen him like this. Something happened. It's stupid. I asked him what was wrong. He said there was an argument and a fight. And then he told me as best he could with all the tears, he said that he just wants to go to a place where nobody knows him. Something about it was so wrong. I felt it in my core. Something in that moment changed. Me? I want to go to a place where everybody knows me. The moment you know you can't come back, it's over. If people have crazy ways of thinking about death, but if something dies, it's gone. I've felt it. And no matter what people say, no matter the lies that they tell themselves, there's no coming back. He was just so weak. And I began to ask myself, is this the best that I can do? I knew it for sure, when one night when we were in bed, he asked me, what's the naughtiest thing you've ever done? And of course I couldn't tell him, but when he told me, I knew it was done. And I felt so sorry for him. And sleeping with him was the sorriest thing he'd heard from the way he sounded, the way he breathed. It was the best he ever had. It was disgusting. I think he even thought I needed it like he needed it. I started staying at work later. I, I joined night classes. I didn't want to see him. It was sad that I couldn't enjoy him anymore, but it was liberating too. With every hair he lost, now I felt closer to him. And I started having an affair because God knows I couldn't get it from him. And when I came home, every time he opened the door, he looked a little sadder. And he started waking up to moonlight. He started drinking, and I was happy again. I knew he had to go. He could never leave me, that's the thing. It made me happy seeing him like that. But eventually he stopped getting worse and just flattered. It wasn't fun for me to watch him lose himself anymore. He had to go. I didn't want to do it, so I, I told him I'd be out of town for a few days on business. He told me don't go. And I could see how close he was. He gave me a thrill. I'll be back before you die. I think I planted it in the drawer on the nightstand. I didn't want to do it, but I thought if he had to go, that I wouldn't have to. And thank God I was right. It didn't take long for it to be called and it made a hell of a sound. When they asked me to come back to confirm the body, it was, there were hairs on the back of my neck. His lips were solid on. It was the happiest month of my life. Maybe he thought that if he did it, then I would have thought that part of me had died too, and what I saw what was left of him, I, I did something I hadn't done in so long. I smiled. Poor thing. All he wanted to do was make me happy. He finally did.
Thank you.